Okay, um, now I'm going to talk about exponential equations that follow a quadratic pattern. And you should typically uh, recognize these because they look really ugly. But a quadratic pattern is this pattern, ax squared plus bx plus c. Anything that follows this pattern follows a quadratic equation pattern, right? We call it a quadratic pattern. Um, and you've seen them in algebra, like if you have x to the fourth um, plus, I don't know, let's do 5x squared plus 6 equals 0. You can see that even though this is a fourth degree polynomial, it follows a quadratic pattern. So you can actually solve using the quadratic pattern and factor. Same thing in exponential. This is an example of an exponential equation that follows a quadratic pattern. Obviously, it's definitely uglier than the stuff that we've seen before. But you see a squared term, a basic you know, you know, x term, and then a constant term. So you can, some of you will get really good where you don't have to do this part, but you, know, you can actually replace um, y, um, replace one of these ex expressions with y. So I'm going to replace 2 to the x with y. Um, and you'll see what happens. This is 2 to the 2x. So this is basically you know, 2 to the x squared. This is y squared. That first term can be replaced with y squared. Plus, the second term is replaced with y. And then minus 12 is 0. And now you can see that this is a basic, very basic quadratic equation to solve that I can just straight up factor. Plus 4 minus 3. So I have y is negative 4 and y is 3. Um, now, because this is a quadratic pattern and it was not a quadratic equation to start with, I'm not done. I have more work to do. I have to back substitute. y was 2 to the x. So I have 2 to the x is equal to negative 4. And I have 2 to the x is equal to 3. Now I look at this equation and there's no way that I'm going to get 2 to the x equal to a negative number. Remember, in a basic exponential kind of term, we can't get a negative outcome. So there's no solution that's going to come from this one. The solution is going to come from this one. And it looks like a type 1 exponential equation because I can't create the same base. So now I'm going to ln both sides and then solve. At least it's a short one. x times ln of 2. that just so it looks a little neater. Okay, x times ln of 2 is equal to ln of 3. There we go, that's better. Divide both sides by ln of 2. So I have now x is equal to ln of 3 divided by ln of 2. And this is my exact um, solution. Uh, if I want the approximate solution, I'm going to put that into my calculator. Be careful with your parentheses. This is approximately 1.585. Okay, so again, a quadratic pattern. So I recognize that obviously I have a squared term, a non-squared term, and then a constant term equal to zero. So it's definitely uglier than any other equation that we've done in terms of exponential equations, right? It's clearly obvious. It's not the same. So you can recognize that it's a quadratic pattern. Usually whatever's here is basically what you, you know, replace with y. And as long as you get rid of all your exponential terms and you have a nice quadratic situation, you did the correct substitution. So let me do this one. Uh, nice and ugly, right? Obviously a quadratic pattern. And I say take whatever's here and replace it with um, your y. Because remember, you know, when you're in a quadratic pattern, this is the x and this is always x squared. So this is my y. y is e to the 2x. So e to the 2x squared is e to the 4x. So this is y squared minus 3 times y minus 18. And now it's a lovely quadratic, easy to solve. Um, factoring this, I get, what is it? It's a 6, six and a 3. Yep, 6 and a 3 minus 6 plus 3. So now I get that y is 6 or y is negative 3. But again, don't forget that we started with an exponential equation, so we have to go back to substitute y and replace y with e to the 2x is 6 or e to the 2x is negative 3. But again, I'm never going to take a, con a positive value, raise it to an exponent, and get a negative outcome. So this is out. I can only solve this one. My solution will come from this. It is another type 2 exponential, so I'm going to natural log both sides. 
and I like when I natural log an e case because it just cancels with it, so it's just 2x is equal to the natural log of 6. Divide both sides by 2. I get um, x is equal to ln of 6 divided by 2, which is approximately uh, 0 0.896. Quadratic patterns.